there's this concept called the birthday attack. Now, this this one's personal to me. Um, I happen to be married to someone who's um, born on the same day as me. Um, and so we, we're both, um, we both share a birthday in March. Um, seems quite strange, except for the, you know, the, the, the little bit of mathematician in me understands that this isn't quite as, um, unusual as it sounds. And unfortunately in cryptography, it's a real problem we have to worry about. So, um, you know, unfortunately the more unique, um, unique, um, numbers that you put together, um, for individual items of data, um, particularly if they're randomly generated, um, the more likely they are going to overlap and be the exact same number. Um, and attackers can actually take advantage of this to uh, break the way uh, a system is supposed to be secured. Um, so that's a birthday attack. Before we jump into birthday attacks, let's just talk about hashing algorithms real quick. So I think uh, many of you have probably heard of a hashing algorithm or a cryptographic um, hash, sometimes what's called a one-way function or one-way cryptography. What we are talking about is a piece of code that um, plain text goes into or um, unencrypted, um, unencrypted data, it's not always text, goes into. And what comes out the other side is a hash that you can use to uniquely validate that um, the data is as you expect. Um, so I'll talk more about specific ciphers in a moment. But just to give an example here, um, I, I put together a little chart talking about the worst one-way cryptographic function I could think of. Um, so we have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Um, for any font geeks out there, um, one of the unique things about that sentence is it uses every letter of the English um, alphabet. However, if we ran our hash function over it, which is alphabetize all the characters, and truncate after the eighth character, what you get is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Um, change that sentence to the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and stole his dinner. Different sentence, different data. Um, same cryptographic function. Um, what you will find is um, uh, the same hash text. Um, so, I mean, th this is... This is a problem for a poorly designed um, hash function. And unfortunately, um, there's many older hash functions that while they may not have been poorly designed um, when they were invented 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago or more, um, today um, they can be defeated quite easily by attackers. 